Hello everybody, welcome back to my stream. Sorry I'm running late yet again. That is a big problem. I keep doing that. I'm very sorry about that. Um, so tonight we're gonna finally finish Bloodstained. Finally. For real this time. I, uh, the last time I played this I uh, didn't manage to complete it like I said I would because I became too tired to finish the game you know, in the middle of my stream, so hopefully I plan to do that tonight, actually. Uh, I somehow managed to uh, activate, uh, select the boss rush mode while, while uh, setting up my stream, so uh, let's, uh, let's, let's get out of that and, and play the regular game. Um, so what I'm actually going to do here is... Uh, replay what I, I finished last time I, I played this game on stream. Yeah. I did... I did Zangetsu only by killing all partners, and then by killing not all the partners. But, uh... So I'm gonna redo that, because there was problems with the audio. Last time I, uh, I, uh, played through the game, I, I didn't have the audio set up correctly. And that was my fault, because I just assumed that it was working as intended, and I didn't double-check it. But this time I did, so everything should be sounding fine. Um, oh wait, that's right, I gotta... Actually, let's go back into Bosch boss rush mode real quick, so I can uh, adjust my webcam. Uh, not sure if that's correct, because there's a lot of black in this uh, background. But I'll see when, when I start playing the, the actual game. So yeah, unfortunately, this means I gotta kill Miriam twice again. And uh, for the sake of time, out of interest of completing this uh, quickly, I know I, I, I beat these. Uh, on Veteran last time I played, or at least I, I beat Zengetsu only killing everybody on Veteran, but uh, since I already did this before, I'd rather just play through it as quickly as I can. Uh, so I'm just going to do it on casual, just to get it over with so I can move on to the new stuff that I haven't done yet. And since, uh, oh god damn since I've uh, already done this before, I'm also going to use this as an opportunity to talk about upcoming Marvel movies and Disney Plus shows, and give my thoughts on them, whether or not if I'm gonna go see them. Oh, that's right. And, uh, whether or not if I think they're gonna be good. So, uh, basically, uh, alright, uh, I, I, unless it's from the MCU, I I don't actually keep close track of release dates and stuff like that, so I'm not sure if, uh... I think New Mutants comes out after Black Widow? I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, supposedly New Mutants is in the MCU now. It, it was said in, a, in, in some newsletter that went out, like... An official thing. I haven't heard that Kevin Feige has uh, clarified the statement that New Mutants is in the MCU, but I'm not sure if he hasn't said anything about it yet. Like, I'm not sure of the reason why he hasn't said anything about it yet. It's possible that he doesn't want to comment on it, you know, for spoiler reasons, but I don't know. 
But the fact that they removed X-Men from, from the title of the movie, and apparently they also removed any mention of the Fox X-Men universe, is uh, indicative that certainly they, they want to try to leave the old X-Men universe behind. So it could be in the MCU, but I feel like at most it's just going to be possibly a mid or post credit scene that makes reference to the MCU or something. I, I don't know how they're going to do it, but uh... Because of all of the, the problems with production that I heard about the movie, uh, I haven't really expected anything like... I haven't really... Oh, I almost didn't dodge that. Oh, nice. Okay, that was a quick kill. Yeah, I'm gonna try to speedrun th th through these first two playthroughs since, like I said before, I've already done them. I've already done this before, so I'm gonna try to get through them as quickly as possible, and that includes uh, basically speedrunning through the game. So I don't know all the speedrun strats for Zengetsu only. I did learn a couple of things, though, since I did watch the Blacktastic, aka Bobby, uh, play through the game again recently when, when he speedrun it to practice for ESA. So yeah, uh, although I don't know all the speedrun strats, I am still going to play through the game as optimally as possible to, again, get Get, get this over and done with as quickly as possible. So back to the, to the Marvel movies topic. Um, because of the... Because of New Mutants supposedly being in the MCU, I suppose I am going to have to go see it now just to see if it really is. Because... Uh, up until that point, I wasn't really interested in seeing New Mutants at all. The problems that, that I heard with, product, with the production regarding that movie. Actually, now that I think about it, saying that New Mutants is in the MCU might actually be uh, Disney trying to do damage control on the film. Like, I'm sure they're aware that people know about all of the production problems with that film. So they're trying to get people to go see it by, uh, saying it's part of the MCU now. Otherwise, the box office performance of the movie would be damaged, and I'm sure they don't want another Dark Phoenix on their hands. So I don't know. We'll see when the movie comes out, whether or not if New Mutants is actually in the MCU or not. Either way, I'm not particularly... Looking forward to the film, I mean, the latest trailer does look good at the very least, but even even bad movies can have good trailers. You just gotta know how to edit everything together. So, uh, after... I think... New Mutants actually comes out after Black Widow, so regardless of such, uh, certainly I am looking forward to this movie more than New Mutants. I mean, I would be regardless since it's part of the MCU and New Mutants is not, even though it supposedly is now. are the bane of my existence. Uh, even though Black Widow wasn't really something I was all that excited for, I still was looking forward to it because it is part of the MCU. But after seeing the first trailer and the most uh, recent uh, quote-unquote special look at the film that was released, I'm actually looking way forward to it more now than I was before. And in fact, I'm actually quite excited to see the movie. 
actually think it has the potential to be among one of the MCU's best because uh, thinking back to Captain America and the Winter Soldier, I think that movie actually kind of benefited from the fact that none of the superheroes in that movie had any superpowers to speak of. I mean, yes, the Falcon can fly, but that, that wasn't his superpower. He, he required technology for that. So certainly, uh, the movie did benefit a bit from being more grounded in reality in that sense. Uh, and I think Black Widow has the potential to benefit similarly. In, in that sort of way. Oh, right, I have to pick up this weapon for this boss. And, uh, as I said in my reaction video to, uh, the Black Widow trailer, um, oh, right. Oh, god damn it. Oh, wow, I actually managed to jump over that. Okay. As I said in, in my, uh, reaction to the Black Widow trailer, uh, I'm actually looking... I'm <laughs> very interested in learning more about Red Guardian, and uh, I've actually learned a couple of things about him since watching that initial trailer. And, uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to be an instance where uh, knowing about the source material is going to impact... Um, nice. It's going to impact uh, knowing what happens in the movie. Oh! Oh! Okay. So he targets you wherever you are when he launches. Okay. That's interesting. So yeah. Like, Red Guardian and, and Natasha's relationship in the comics way different from what appears to, to be their relationship in the movie, so... I mean, you never know. They, they, they could keep it the same, but I don't think that that's really what they're going to go for, especially since the MCU has established in many different ways already that it's, it's different from the comics. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um... But yeah, Red Guardian being in Black Widow actually opens the door for a lot of other things in the MCU. Like, they can introduce Colossus, they can introduce Omega Red. Obviously, you know, Red Guardian being in the MCU means that they can introduce... What's that one superhero team? Or rather, Marvel team? That... Ah, oh, fuck. I hate this guy. It's rather stupid that... That, that projectile can, can hit a wall. At least one of the benefits of playing in casual mode is that I get infinite lives, and that's also one of the reasons why I'm playing on casual. So I don't have to worry about getting a game over. But yeah, th there, there's this Russian superhero team that... Or, I don't, I don't know if it's a, a hero team or... Whatever, th there's a team that exists, I can't remember the name of right now, that, that could be introduced in the MCU because of Red Guardian's inclusion in, in Black Widow. So yeah, any, any anything that introduces more new stuff to the MCU is always something to look forward to. Come on! Uh, clearly, I need to practice this. I kind of wish the ability to run was something that was 
natural in this game rather than an upgrade you have to get in a specific way. Figured I might as well try that. I think it requires you to switch characters though. Uh, so, like I said, you, you don't really need knowledge of the source material to understand the MCU, but regardless, I, I still want to become familiar with it before I go see the movie. Just so I could see what it does different and such, and uh... Also, I feel like regardless... You know, un understanding and being uh, knowledgeable of the source material it improves your uh, enjoyments of the films anyway, so... Certainly, th there's no reason to not become familiar with the source material before watching the movie. This is the other film that's not in the MCU that, uh, Sony. Uh, I, I pretty much can't look forward to, to anything made by Sony. Especially after the, the way they handled Venom. Like, the movie was entertaining, but it wasn't a good movie. You know what I mean? So... I... I again, the, the trailer for Morbius looks good, but... Again, even bad movies can have good trailers, and... Again, <laughs> this is a Sony movie we're talking about here, so... I, I really can't... Expect much from this film, even if the trailers can make it look good. The big thing that everybody talks about, however, is the fact that the movie supposedly takes place in the MCU, or adjacent to it, I guess, is what they say. Like, it supposedly is going to work like the Netflix shows, where it's going to take place in the MCU, but they can't reference anything that actually happens in the MCU, so what's the point of it? taking place in the MCU if it can't actually affect anything that happens in it, you know what I mean? Like, the Netflix shows could make references to the MCU movies, but... You know, they didn't have an impact on the show, nor could they... ...make reference to... to they didn't impact the movies, and the movies didn't... ...or, or maybe, possibly even couldn't reference the, the TV shows, you know what I mean? So Morbius is going to work the same way, and... Again, that, that just makes me feel like, what's the point of having it be in the MCU if it doesn't matter, essentially? Guessing the way that the Netflix shows actually work is is that yes they, they they take place in the MCU but not in the same continuity as the MCU which after Avengers Endgame pretty much translates to happening in an alternate universe I guess that, that's definitely not an idea that they could run with but then they had to establish that by having something happen like have the Netflix characters meet up with the Avengers from 
the MCU continuity of the movies, or... But actually, the best way to do that, if that's the case, would be to... For Marvel to introduce their own versions of the Netflix characters on, on Disney Plus or however, and then have them meet up with the Netflix versions of those same characters. But that that would be the best way to establish that theory. Uh oh, I actually got a pause here. So, like. The way Morbius is trying to establish that it's part of the MCU without being part of the MCU is having references to Spider-Man being a murderer, which is, of course, a reference to Far From Home, or rather the ending of that movie. And uh, by having Adrian Toomes show up in the trailer for Morbius as well, Now, uh, something that I would like to point out here is that, uh, J.K. Simmons playing, uh, Jameson in Far From Home pretty much establishes the fact that, you know, you can have the same actor play the same character in two different universes, so, uh, It's very possible that's the same thing that's going on here with, with uh, Adrian in Morbius. And again, there, there's this whole alternate continuity, alternate universe theory of mine that I have, which honestly would be probably the smartest way to go about it, but again, this is Sony we're talking about here, and they most likely don't have a clue of what they're doing. And obviously they're trying to make connections to the MCU to drum up hype for the film so that people actually want to go see it. Like, they pretty much did everything that they could to establish that Morbius is a Spider-Man movie because they, they know that the average person doesn't know who Morbius is. Like, like obviously comic book fans and people familiar with Spider-Man know who Morbius is, but... The average person doesn't know that Morbius is a Spider-Man villain, so what reason would they have to go see the movie if they don't establish that it's a Spider-Man film? You know what I mean? I don't, uh... But that said, I... While it's understandable that they want to jump hype for the film, I feel like they're being misleading about it because... When you get right down to it, I ultimately think that... All of these supposed connections to the MCU are going to end up being coincidental at best. And the film might end up not being, not having anything to do with the MCU at all, which would obviously make a lot of people angry. But again, this is Sony we're talking about here, so... It wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility that that's actually what's, what's happening. Oh, I forgot I have the dash now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the scene with Adrian Toomes is, is him playing the same character but in a different universe, and if it is... <sighs> I kind of want to go for this, but if I don't make it, I'll die, and I don't know where the checkpoint is. Nope, not gonna go for it. So yeah, uh, so even though he's playing the same character as before, that doesn't mean he it's going to take place in the same universe. I'm pretty sure this is still just Sony's own Spider-Man universe. And they're just using the same actors to play uh, the same characters. Which means that if uh, Spider-Man does appear in Venom 2, as he's supposedly going to be, 
that he'll be played by Tom Holland, but it won't be the same, the same, uh, Spider-Man from the MCU, even though it's being played by the same actor. Excuse me. Obviously, time will tell with all of these, and we'll know for sure when the movies comes out, but for now, I'm, I'm gonna take a guess. Like, I'm basically going to say that this is all just very misleading, and, and none of this will have to do with the MCU, and even if it does, it will be a pointless connection because it'll be like the Netflix shows. I almost had it. Oh, I got it! Yes! Nice. I had a feeling that I could get it if I did that. Nice. Now I got some extra energy. We weapon energy. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to jump there. Alright, so, what's next? Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, I'm looking forward to that, obviously. Like, I I'm pretty much looking forward to anything MCU. Um, we haven't really seen much of anything of the show yet, just the, the small snippets of footage that was shown during that Super Bowl ad. I'm looking forward to it nonetheless, and uh, certainly I'm very interested to see uh, how Bucky and, and, and Sam will, will uh, continue Captain America's legacy now that he's old and retired now. Oh, come on. The thing that I'm, I'm most excited about, though, is being able to see Baron Zemo in a comic-accurate costume, and I'm interested to see what his role is going to be, seeing as how, uh, you know, given the end of Civil War and such. Ah, come on. I actually don't know, I actually don't have much to say about this one since, uh, again, we haven't seen much uh, of the show other than Baron Zemo's costume, US agent, you know. I think the show is mostly just going to add more background and character development to the MCU rather than being something that's absolutely essential to, to watch in order to understand the plot. Which is fine, you know. Not everything has to be important to the story to, to be uh, high quality. I know I shouldn't have gone for that. I, I should have just taken the damage. Ugh. I hate these things. Now, of course, I could be wrong in my assessment and... and Oh, that's right, I, I died, so I lost my weapon. <sighs> Here we 
he almost didn't. He didn't jump, so if I continue to walk forward. So yeah, I, I could be wrong, or rather end up being wrong, and uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier could introduce something that, that actually is essential to understanding the MCU, or rather following the plot of it. Now, what will, for, what will be important for sure to watch is WandaVision, which uh, has actually been pushed up to be released sooner than intended, and is going to come out at the end of this year rather than around the, the beginning of next year. And this is actually the Disney Plus show that I'm looking forward to the most because uh, some people at least are weary about WandaVision because they're not sure or they don't know what the show is going to be. I honestly... Th that is the reason why I'm looking forward to the show the most, honestly. Th that The uncertainty of not knowing what to expect is what makes me look forward to the show more than any any other that, that, that's on its way. So apparently, you know, the show is going to be a sitcom, and we don't know... Like, the thing that, that has me curious the most about WandaVision is what the setup for it is going to be. Like, I know in the comics, Scarlet Witch has the uh, reality warping powers, but that hasn't really been established in the MCU yet. So you never know. Th th this could be... A show that establishes that fact, and it could be a show of, about her developing these reality warping powers and making use of them, you know. Or it could be something or someone else entirely who's doing this. Like, like she could be subject to experiments that's making her create her own reality, or rather a reality based on hallucinations or visions that she's having, and I don't just mean the character vision, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we really, it's easy enough to, to assume that it's Wanda that's doing this, but you never know, it, it could be something or someone else entirely, we don't know, and that's what's got me excited about the show the most, is we don't know what, what, what's really going on here, and having to watch watch the show to find out that that that's really what's got me excited about the show. Oh, come on! Please don't send me too far back. Very good. I had a feeling this is where the checkpoint was. Oh, right. I got... Excuse me. I got my old weapon back now. Oh, well, maybe it'll be better for fighting the boss. Certainly it's better for that. Yeah, um, WandaVision I'm excited for, The Eternals I'm excited for, for pretty much the same reasons as WandaVision. Again, we, we don't really know what to expect from this show, and unlike with WandaVision where we did get a sneak peek of it during a Super Bowl ad, we haven't seen anything from The Eternals other than like, like, like set photos and concept art and stuff like that.
so, uh... Uh... Fuck you! Oh. So yeah, not not knowing anything about the movie or, or knowing what to expect from it is the reason why I, I'm excited for Eternals more than anything else this year. Um, I know Kevin Feige has said that the Eternals is going to be expensive and risky for them to make. And, uh, certainly, you know, from a business standpoint, it may seem like a bad idea to make a movie based on the Eternals since it's a completely unknown property. Like, absolutely nobody knows who the Eternals is, you know, outside of comic book fans. And there aren't, like, any pre-established characters that they can attach the Eternals to that they can, you know, market the film in such a way, like with Morbius, that they can sell it to people just based on the premise of, you know, you're familiar with this character because of this character, or such and such. Nice. So yeah, um, I'm interested. I'm interested to see how the Eternals is going to be marketed, but obviously more so, I'm interested in actually seeing the movie itself. <laughs> With talks that I've heard about the movie, like how it's going to take place over thousands of years in different time periods and, and stuff like that, certainly th there is potential there for it to be quite an epic movie. And that's, uh, and that certainly gives me reason to believe that the film is going to be good, but, uh, if there's anything that I've learned from Marvel's movies over, over the past few years, it's that never doubt anything that, that seems questionable. By the way, I, uh, found out that you can just break that block and not have to worry about, uh, Yeah, I, I could have just done that, but, uh, obviously just breaking that block is both faster and easier, so now I got the power upgrade. <laughs> I should have... Sure, I figured I should. I'm supposed to go up because there's no arrow there, and plus the enemy was blocking that way. So yeah. It's fine. Excuse me. Is that all there was to talk about? I guess one there was something else. Let's see, Eternals, on the vision. Oh right. I think that was everything actually. Well, I did not expect to uh, get through that talk as, as quickly as I did. I guess I had far less to say about uh, the upcoming films as I thought I did. Uh, well, it, uh, it was going to be hard for me to have anything to, to say about them when we know so little about them. So what, mo what more can I really say other than you know, I'm really looking forward to this because I, I don't know what to expect from it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Actually, I'm really excited to, to see the Eternals though because of the introduction of Celestials. That, that, that could actually, 
meets the in eventual introduction to Galactus, who I'm sure is going to be the next uh, Thanos, so to speak, in the MCU. Like, you know, the next big villain that they build up to over the next 10 years. Like, it pretty much has to be Galactus, because he was the one that they were originally going to build up to back when Marvel wanted to do the original Avengers. And uh, Fox didn't want to agree to give them the rights to use that character and the Silver Surfer, so they had to use Thanos instead, which... <sighs> Come on. Given how well Infinity War and Endgame turned out, you know, obviously it worked out in the end, so... They managed to make not having the rights to Galactus and Silver Surfer work to their benefit. Because uh, the Eternals is going to take place over so many different time periods and such, I, I do w wonder what, what sort of things we'll, we'll be seeing in the movie. Like, there's that location in Guardians of the Galaxy called Nowhere, which, uh, is made from the head of, of a celestial and so I'm, I'm curious to see if we're actually going to see the death of, of that celestial depicted in uh, the Eternals. I could briefly mention the Loki TV show. Like, the only thing they showed from that what was th this one shot of Loki saying he was going to destroy the world, sitting in what looked to be an interrogation room. So, obviously that raises questions about as to how that happened. You know, what's he doing there? What, like, excuse me. Excuse me. Because the Loki TV show obviously follows the Loki that escaped in Avengers Endgame and not the one that we, we know from our main MCU continuity. So obviously it raises a lot of, it's going to be dealing with that, but it also raises a lot of questions as to how exactly that happened and whether or not if he's really the bad guy for wanting to destroy whatever world he's referring to. I assume that they only showed that, that one shot because that's pretty much all that they had prepared uh, for that, that Super Bowl ad. Shouldn't be coming here if I'm trying to speed run this. But yeah, I think I pretty much said all I what I wanted to say about the upcoming Marvel movie stuff by now. Um, I kind of can't. W <sighs> hoping that the, that the next uh, Black Widow trailer comes out soon. Because, let's see, tomorrow's March 1st, so... 
Yeah, the, the movie will be two months away. Uh, starting tomorrow, so I feel like they 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 have to come out with an, an, another trailer for it, you know, sometime within the next month in order to properly. Advertise the film, like, like do put the, do the last uh, serious advertising push for the film before its release. Like if they wait until April to to release the the final trailer, I think that that, that might be waiting too late. Oh, nice. I actually wasn't sure if that was going to work. Hmm. Oh, that's right, I forgot. You can only uh, break down that wall in ultimate mode because in ultimate mode you have the ability to charge your sword. Pretty sure I have no reason to pick up the, with the money bags in casual mode because you have infinite lives. <clears throat> no! Why did I jump that early? Okay. This was here. Damn. Said that the money bags are worthless in casual because you can't get extra lives since you have infinite lives. Ah, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna be at risk of dying to this boss anyway. This boss is a joke.
Wow. I, I just realized I, I shouldn't have actually walked down the stairs. I should have just fallen down. I would have been fine. And even if I wouldn't have been, I have infinite lives. Okay, I, I gotta remember to actually go into that pocket. Okay, good. I got a checkpoint. Really? Come on. God, I hate these demons. <sighs> At least with dashing, I can just run through those gosh forsaken frogs. side where she raises her hand is the side that's safe. Oh my god. Okay, no. The side opposite of where she raises her hand is what's safe. I don't know what platform to stand on when she... Damn it, I'm fucking dead! <sighs> I should have just allowed myself to die. I should probably just keep the whip. <sighs> no. I can live without it. Ooh. <sighs> 
opposite side. Nice. Uh, I'm at half health though, so... So I gotta wait until the moon appears before... I need to not take so much damage during the first phase. took one hit of damage. That was a fast fight too. So it's definitely worth it to have that item and not the whip. Of course now I gotta wait. Standing jump. Oh, we're at this part already. Ah. These red moons are pretty much the only reason why I take damage in this fight. And there we go.
The man who wished for nothing other than the power to eradicate demons spends his final days in abject misery. There were none left to pity nor mourn for he whose heart became dominated by darkness. Zangetsu now reigned as the new Dark Emperor. A long, horrible night descended upon the land. That end. Wah wah. <sighs> Alright, so th there's the first Zangetsu only playthrough of this uh, Let's Play. Next I'm gonna do Zangetsu only again, only this time I'm <laughs> not gonna get the dash ability, which is going to make some of these levels suck so hard because I cannot run the frogs and I can't run against the rain, so certainly the next the next playthrough is going to be more painful than this one was, and <laughs> I already ran out of stuff to talk about, so it's pretty much just going to be a silent playthrough. I'll, I'll try to make up topics to talk about on my own, but Certainly, it's going to be a struggle for me to do that without an audience. You know, like, like, like this is the reason why I stopped doing Let's Plays in the first place, because, you know, nobody watches these, and, and, uh, you know, if, if nobody watches them, then I might as well just be recording this and, and rather than doing it live, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm gonna take a very quick break while the credits roll. And then I'll do another Zangetsu only playthrough. Once again, playing through casual because uh, uh, these first few stages are gonna suck because I don't have any of my upgrades. But we'll try to get through them as quickly as possible anyway with what we have. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother killing anything. It's just run straight through. Or I'd rather walk straight through. Jesus Christ. those things actually shot in, in, in the direction you approach them from it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nah. Well, come on! So now, so you can stand on those things, but you still take damage from them. I jumped. Alright, let's see if I can get the quick kill on him again. could have done that faster, but I don't know, maybe that was as fast as I could have done it. Certainly I feel like I messed up somewhere. Excuse me. jump yet. I gotta remember, I don't have the double jump just yet. Here we go. 
I knew I shouldn't have jumped there. I really like how you can face backwards in midair without changing your jump direction. Really useful for, for doing sort of like a backsplash. Oh, I, I have this again. I'm gonna need to change my button. to go back for that heart. Stupid, I pressed the button. Double hidden works. I wonder if there's any way I could potentially. No, it doesn't look like it. It's just barely out of reach. Yeah, I, I can't get to it. Not that I need it, though. Fuck you. Fuck this bat. Okay, at least I got it back, though. But still, fuck that bat. jump just before nice For when when he shoots himself, so I didn't know when to stop jumping. Still, that seems more reliable than than trying to jump over him. And now we have the double jump. Oh. 
Why didn't I think about doing that before? deal with him, it's better than taking a long way. Just grabbing the heart by taking damage. Fuck. He's giving me health. <sighs> okay, good. I'm at the end. I think I want this instead, though. Nice! I wasn't sure if I was getting a quick kill on him. <laughs> wasn't sure if I was going to get a quick kill on him, but... Wow, that was really, really fast. to have his uh... excuse me dashing ability but uh like I said I have to forgo it because even though it is extremely useful it is the least useful of the three abilities <clears throat> excuse me and I have to forgo one of them in this playthrough
me to it. Oh, well. That, that's fine, actually. Fuck. All that for one tiny heart. Good. Oh, we're, yeah. Without the dash, I definitely can't make it. Oh, I don't think I can make it with the dash. been a situation where playing in veteran mode would have actually worked to my benefit because I would have been knocked back instead of going straight through. Nice. And I got it on my first try as well. <sighs> you ever bunny hop in a game because you think it at least feels faster even though it's not? Uh, 
Oh god. Okay, good. I'm kind of worried that I might not be able to finish this stream again like, like the last time I played Bloodstained. Oh man, I did not want to stream today, but I said I would already and I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow, so I, I, I kind of have to do it anyway. jumped. Or rather double jumped sooner. Actually, not having the whip here is good. sucks because I, I can't run against the wind. Very odd that you can jump over that but not other walls. That are similar to it, that is.
please tell me that this is health. Oh. Oh, fuck it. I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm not gonna bother falling back down. I can get it. I just gotta hope I, I kill the boss on my first try. first try. That's all that matters. Oh yeah, that, that's right. The, the last level is also going to be a pain he has to get through without the dash because I cannot run the bats. Excuse me. It just to show off that it can be done, even though I already proved that it could be last time. Before, so I could do a dash and jump, and that gave me enough distance to be able to take the shortcut. I don't, I don't have that luxury this time, so. Uh, okay. I don't know why I thought I was gonna fall to my death there. Actually, don't have as little health as I thought I did. Can I do this? Nice. Yes, I can. Okay. And it's good to see that that shortcut doesn't require the dash either. What? 
Get off me! those guys. Although, at the same time, I, I should have been better prepared. Well, th this is an absolutely terrible spot for me to put the umbrellas in. Okay. As I always say, as long as I beat the boss first try. This next boss is a joke, but the level to get to him is just a pain in the ass. Platformer hell, basically. I get damage reduction on this level. Myself going for that heart.
Good. And of course, well, whatever, it's fine. It's not like having one hit point less is gonna do me in or anything. Without the whip last time, so hopefully I can simply repeat what I did last time. Didn't even need the item. Good. Hey! I could take that shortcut outside of ultimate mode. That's one of those times where I'm happy that I'm playing on casual mode. And the reason why I'm playing on casual mode to begin with. I won't play on casual mode for my next playthrough though. Since it's gonna be my first time doing that type of playthrough. Um, I think I only need to do two more playthroughs in order to get all the achievements though. the boss. Come down so I can kill you.
Aw, oh, come on. Okay, yeah. Like I said, this guy's a joke. Kind of funny how, how this, the second to last boss of the game is the second easiest. I suppose. It will... Well, no, that, that's not. That might not be true, actually. I, I was gonna say. Although getting through the stages a pain in the ass without. Um, the dash. Fighting the boss isn't. But that's not true, actually. Um, oh. I think I might have just killed myself here. Fuck. I was trying to fall down. That's what I wanted to do, but but not, uh, but obviously not uh, falling to my death. I, I, all right, I gotta make sure to press up when I hit the stairs. I tried to jump on the platform, but I didn't time it right. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll jump to the right instead. I should be able to make that. I really don't want to die any more times here. to do last time. And now I gotta deal with these demons. <laughs>
At least this part I can get through quickly. With, with the double jump. <sighs> Having to deal with... Oh. Okay. <sighs> I don't know how you're supposed to avoid getting hit like that. Having to deal with these frogs for one last time. And I'm pretty much ready to go. avoid losing too much health here so that way I have a bunch of extra weapon energy to just barely have more than half. If I get bad luck with red moons, then... <laughs> Looks like I might not survive. Oh, that's right, I need to get the whip first. I got yellow moons. Good. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, yeah. Assuming I don't screw up, this should go by very quickly with how much weapon energy I have. The first time I, I, I've beaten the final boss on my first try. I think it's safe to say I'm starting to get good at this game. Though then again, that was casual mode, so I, I shouldn't get too cocky just yet. of demons have been felled, and finally the mighty evil was destroyed. Thanks to his struggle, peace would return to the land. In the shining daylight, a faint shadow still remains. Zangetsu had slain the archdemon, yet his heart still ached. In the midst of battle, he had felt uneasy. Gremory, the demon he had defeated, fell to him little like little more than a shadow. Another fated night where Zangetsu's crimson blade would flash in the moonlight was all but certain. The end. Okay, I'm actually not feeling as tired as I was when I first started to stream, although certainly I'm 
not getting any more energy uh, as the night goes on. For the time being, at least, I, I definitely still feel like I have enough energy to continue playing. Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and get myself a late night snack. Uh, as the credits roll, so sit tight, don't go anywhere. I still got more playthroughs to do. Sorry that took so long. All right, let me just uh, check real quick. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I only got two more playthroughs I need to do. Just need, need a, a bit of a reminder. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure one of them is Wait a minute. 
Oh, I only have one more playthrough I need to do. And it's... Read the game recruiting not everyone. Okay, that, that's actually not that bad. Certainly it's going to be a lot more fun than Zengetsu only. That's for sure. And, and that's the reason why I saved this one for last. Certainly, I'm going to miss having Zangetsu's other abilities, but the partners will more than make up for it. <laughs> kind of funny that they give you a heart there, seeing as how there are no enemies, so therefore you don't need it. used to having knockback now is definitely a rough adjustment that I'm gonna have to make. But I can get used to it. Ugh, come on! I jumped. Oh, and, and money bags actually have a value now, seeing as how I uh, actually have lives this time. God, my A button isn't working randomly for for some reason. Oh, there's there's health there. <laughs> I'm not sure how I how I never found that before. fell there too. Christ. That was scary. Uh, this, this boss fight's not gonna go at, uh, as fast as before though since I don't have nearly as much weapon energy. this fight, but it's the first boss in the game, so it's no problem. Ah, oh, come on. one of the hits. <sighs> Am I seriously gonna die to the first boss? If I actually died to the first boss, oh my god. <sighs> if 
finally I get to recruit her instead of kill her. Just needed to make sure that I remembered how to do that. Excuse me. Not having the, the downward slash, that's an, another a, a adjustment I'm going to have to make. Something else that I'm going to have to get used to. I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. That's... I meant to switch to Miriam. So used to Zengetsu only, I also forgot that the characters have different health bars. Like, they're not shared between the characters. Okay. Hmm. to be so precise to hit that enemy. <sighs> well, I'm never taking this route again. <sighs> Even in the water, the frogs are a pain in the ass. What did I just say? Oh no, don't tell me I have to go this way now. Well, at least I got an extra life. Mm -hmm. 
Certainly it would be beneficial to kill the boss in one try. So that way I can actually keep this extra life. Oh. I might actually have to die here because now I can't get the item. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, that's not really all that more useful. Ugh. Hate these enemies. Yeah. Because Miriam's the one who has the slide, so... Without her, I, I wouldn't have been able to get that. Good. Very good. I was so worried that I, I wasn't going to get a quick kill on. But as it turns out, that axe does in fact do a lot of damage. And now we're going to walk past Alfred. Certainly not having his fire shield is going to hinder us a bit, but it, it, like before. Walk the way here by myself, I recruited Miriam. plays differently is so refreshing. Mm, I, mean, I need to get the knives out sooner. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. If I had Alfred's ability, I would have been willing to. But at least I can take this path. Ugh. 
Especially if that happens. He only came by once. <sighs> I'm not sure how the hitboxes on that wouldn't work, but whatever. I'm glad they work the way they do. Otherwise, I would have been dead there. Oh, okay, good. And because I have my partners again, yay! Upgrades! And not just a few that I was able to get last time. I want more weapon energy. Fuck you! Oh my fucking god! fight went terribly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And now we recruit Jeebel, or Jebel, or Gebel, or Gerbil, or however you say his name. God, it feels so good being able to take alternate paths again. Just wanted to make sure that neither of those were health. Ah, that that was health though. Damn it. Well, it's fine. to have this weapon, but uh... Oh. I uh, I should have switched characters. Oh, well, it's fine. 
No reason why I can't do it now. Uh. Oh, okay, good. Alright, yeah. Look, look, let's just play it safe and do this, because I don't want to waste my weapon energy. Come on. Come on. Good. They did want the power up there. <sighs> what? I what? these enemies. Your game. Come on.
Nice. Seems to have gotten that fight down. At least I got five lives, for what it's worth. So for some reason, I should have picked up the health for Miriam. <sighs> Might be better for me to just die at this point. So that way I can get everybody back at full health. I mean... It's not like, yeah. I'm not gonna beat the boss like this. <sighs> Why do they have. Oh my god. The way they have the checkpoint set up is so stupid. Mm. 
Uh, I want to take a shortcut, but... At the same time, I don't want to use weapon energy. Okay, really glad to be done with that level. Oh, okay, good. I just barely made that. <sighs> you know, I, I probably... Excuse me. 
I'm surprised I'm able to jump over these guys. That guy didn't even need to jump over. Really wish I had the the upward knives cause things. Oh. Yes. for this. Good. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Fighting this boss without Zangetsu. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Mm. I'm not sure if I can I, I can meet this boss. Estimated the power of those knives. Oh, I didn't realize how many lives I had. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fucking frogs! But this I definitely can't fly over.
Whatever, it, it's not worth the risk trying to get them. This was supposed to be more fun. I've been lied to. That's so hard to get through. <sighs> and of course, now is when I get the health. God, I lost like three or four lives just from that. to be done with this fucking level. Oh, fuck 
you. Um, yeah, that's, that's the weapon I want. feeling this boss was made easy on purpose because they knew how much of a pain in the ass it was to get through the level. <clears throat> this is where uh, not having Alfred is definitely going to show some disadvantages because there'll be a couple of shortcuts that I can't take because I don't have Alfred. Ugh. And since I can't just double jump my way down here, I'm gonna have to actually take these stairs. Ugh. Ugh. Whatever, I'll take it. shield, I, I could have uh, activated it and, and walked through that, those bats there. it if he uh, transformed back from that in the last level. I don't know why, for some reason, I was pushing, pushing the button and he just wouldn't transform back. Those frogs are the worst enemy in the game. I, I don't care what anybody else says. Especially when they just fucking spam them all over the place.
I might as well continue from here. It's not like I need Jeeble for anything, anything more at this point. Pretty sure Miriam can't hit her with a rax. It comes out too slowly for her to be able to do that. Even though she can probably jump high enough to reach. Oh my god. Check my controller out. Okay, good. Chords of demons had been felled, and finally the mighty evil was destroyed. <clears throat> Thanks to their struggle, peace would return to the land. The heroes stood proudly in the sunlight. Soon, they would each go down their own paths. 
With the battle over, Miriam vanished as she wandered the land to find a new reason to live. Having quelled the demonic threat, Gebel, now filled with demonic power, disappeared once more into the void. Zangetsu had slain the archdemon, yet his heart still ached. In the midst of battle, he had felt uneasy. Gremory, the demon he had defeated, felt to him like little more than a shadow. Another fated night where Zangetsu's crimson blade would flash in the moonlight was all but certain. The end. Okay, so that's pretty much only slightly different from the normal ending. And that they, they added a, a little bit of extra to, to explain what, what happens to the other characters if you recruit them. At, at, what happens to the other characters at the end if you recruit them. I wonder what it says for Alfred if he's in your party when uh, you beat the game. I apologize everybody for forgetting as mad as I did during level 6, but man. I had it the first time and for some reason he just wouldn't de-transform and then... Oh my god. That level was a train wreck. I'm pretty sure the only achievement I have left now is uh, beating Boss Rush. And I think... Uh, Yeah. <laughs> One of the reasons why I uh, decided to play this tonight is because I want to start speedrunning it. So, even though I said I, I would end the stream by playing through ultimate mode, Excuse me. I don't think I'm going to. I, I just... I, I don't feel like I got the energy for it. L let me just make sure that, that boss rush mode is all that I have left to do. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let, let's, let's end the stream by beating boss rush mode. Assuming it's not so stupidly difficult that I can't finish it tonight. <clears throat> Let me see. I assume that I'm gonna be fighting the bosses in order, so... Interesting that you have to pick up Gebel's Gebel's Gebel Gerbil his item in order to, to use it. Yeah. 
<clears throat> All right, let, let's try to get through this boss without without taking any damage. so much for that. As long as I don't get hit any more times than that, though, I should be okay. And I'm not sure why I didn't think of doing that earlier. I really should have. I just wanted to see that. Okay. Only Zangetsu took damage that time. So, oh, and they're nice enough to replenish your weapon energy. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. So you can only take each weapon one time? Oof. That definitely means that you need to place priority on what you want to... <sighs> Gotta say, I'm not a fan of that aspect of boss rush mode. I understand that they wanted to make it challenging, but that may have been going a bit too far. This mode will actually make for good practice against the bosses in, uh, in the speed run, but... Man, I actually don't know if I can do this. The, the way they limit you... Yeah, see, like, like now I don't have the axe to use against the next boss. Well, well no, not, not this. It's not this boss, I would need it against it's the one after, but still. trying to do that. Uh. 
Oh, come on. And of course, I couldn't finish him off without taking some damage myself. Yeah, th this is not looking possible at all. Having to do it at all in, in one life is understandable, but... You can only use each weapon one time. That's... That w wasn't a good decision, in my opinion. sure I can't do this, at least not tonight. And there goes any chance that I would have had. Yeah, this doesn't look... Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for, for me for tonight. Uh, thank you, thank everybody. Thank, thanks everyone for watching. I, I don't know when I'm gonna play this again, but the next time I play it, I, uh, will be attempting boss rush mode again. If, if nothing else, just for, for speedrun practice purposes. Uh. And, uh. I'm pretty sure, like, I'll, I'll do offline practice and stuff like that. But, uh, if I, if I can't beat boss rush mode next time I stream this game, then I'm just gonna go straight into doing speedruns. So, uh, yeah. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, I'm not gonna be streaming tomorrow, but uh, I will be uh, appearing on Preacher of Valor's channel. Uh, he's gonna be playing Maple Story 2, and I'm gonna be joining him, so be sure to check him out. Uh, he's going to, uh, let me just... Uh, let me get his Twitch page real quick, and then post it in chat. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, there's his uh, Twitch page. 
be sure to follow him so that way you'll know when he goes live um uh he's gonna start playing at uh 5 p.m est tomorrow so oh my god Yeah, so he, he's gonna go live tomorrow at, at 5 p.m. EST. Uh, I'm gonna host his channel when he goes live. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be on voice chat when when uh, when he's playing, but... Yeah, I most likely will be, seeing as how it'd be kind of pointless for me to play it on stream with him. If I'm not, so, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to follow, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and all that good stuff. And I'll uh, see you on Monday, hopefully. I, I think I'm finally starting to establish a proper s stream schedule. Uh, what I'm, I'm going to try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I'm going to try to stream on those days every time at 8.30 p.m. EST. I don't know, you know, like I haven't figured out exactly what it is that I'm going to stream, you know, like that I don't have sorted out, but the days and time, I, I think I've figured out a schedule that will always work for me. And uh, if I don't stream on any one of those days that I mentioned, then I'll try to stream on a day that I would normally take off uh, to make up for the fact that I did stream on a day I was supposed to, so yeah. Thank you all for watching, everybody. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.